welcome back to another video corner so I'm sorry it's been so long since I made my last video but we went through changes and I had to give up my video room so now I'm sharing it with our lunch room I'm so depressed um, but once we move our silly farm I'll be back in business with a brand new studio and upgraded equipment so stay tuned um, today I'm using one of our beautiful staff here at silly farm Christina Angelina so when you call and you speak to her this is the beautiful uh, model and painter so um, because it's we're getting into fall, I invented this new arty cake, and it also comes in a large rainbow cake, and it is called Sparkle Dust, um, and it's just a combination of a lot of metallic colors, and it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to show you guys who have trouble with a brush and your arty cakes how to use a mini mop uh, with them, and how to do a pretty eye design similar to the one that's on the front page of sillyfarm.com this month. Um, so this is just another way to use these arty cakes if you're having a little trouble with your brush. So you want to take your uh, mini mop and you want to get it a little bit wet and then you're going to rub it over the surface of your arty cake. And so, you know, I'm just rubbing it over a few times and you want to make sure that you're getting um, so that you load up your, your sponge properly. So once you have your mini mop loaded, I want to make sure the purple's on the bottom and I'm going to start in the corner of her eye and the purple along the bottom is going to serve as a really nice um, kind of liner. So I'm going to do that on both sides, make sure that the purple is on it and I'm just going to travel up, I'm going to cut through her eye Thank you. Um, on both sides. And then right in the middle, I'm just going to kind of come down on the bridge of her nose. So again, I'm just kind of making sure that it's filled in using the top of that mini mop. Just bringing it up. So now I laid down the initial base. And those colors blend so, so nicely. I like to start in the corner of the eye, very straight start off with my swirls and build off of them so I start off with one swirl and I'm gonna just follow it around the corner of the eyes with some teardrops and then um, so I'm gonna just follow this pattern and then from the top of the teardrop I'm gonna build off of it too and build another swirl which I'm going to follow around. Then from the bottom, I'm just going to trace over these again. And I'm going to kind of flip this design right underneath it. If you can turn, sorry, a little bit. So I'm going to come out with the swirl. I'm going to come off of it and bring it back in and swirl it just so that I can repeat this design and everything is going to flow nicely. So from the top of this swirl right here, I'm going to come down, swirl it up, and fill in just like I did with my teardrops. And turn a little bit this way. Sorry about that. So then I'm just going to start connecting uh, to the middle with a little bit of dots. And then from the, from the middle right here, I'm just going to create a series of teardrops into the middle of her face. And from the bottom, I'm going to head up as well. Laying my brush down, bringing it in so that it's almost like a mirror image of the top and the bottom. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm pretty sure you guys get this part, is that I'm going to follow this same pattern um, on this side. And if you have to go over with your white just to brighten it up sometimes, um, then do it because this white stays really intense, but you want to just make sure uh, that it's even all over. So again, if you can turn this way, sorry. I'm going to start off in the corner of the eye, swirl up and bring my teardrops in just like I did on the other side and now I'm going to repeat that swirl pattern um, along the bottom so swirl it come off of it bring it in 
and fill in with teardrops and then I fill, I connect with dots. Now from the top here, come around, bring my, my swirl again, sorry, one more time, swirl again and bring my teardrops in there. And then I'm going to just bring my teardrops back in here to make sure that everything flows nicely. Now to finish off this design, instead of using black, what I'm going to use is this uh, interference copper which is such a beautiful color. The interference line from Krylon is like a really shiny um, metallic, but it's really creamy, so it's easy to sponge with and easy to line with. So I'm just going to go back in and very gently, I'm going to give it um, an outline in the certain parts. And I know it's a little bit hard to see, and I'm still working on the lighting. This is kind of this copper is like a beautiful orange color. And it gives the whole design a really nice outline without the intensity of something like a black. So I'm just giving it that little bit of an outline as necessary. And this will help you clean up any line work that you might have not been happy with. If you can turn to the other side here. She's such a fantastic model. I might have to recruit her every month because she knows how to turn. Many of you met her if you came to the convention last year. She loved face and body art so much that uh, she just kind of jumped into it with all of us. So you'll get to meet her again. Okay. So then, of course, I got to add just a little bit of glitter just to make it stand out. A little bit here and there. And then if you can just look in the camera and mm -hmm. say, uh, hope to meet you soon. <laughs> hope to meet you all soon. Okay. So thank you guys for joining me again, and thank you for uh, staying tuned and keeping up with my video corner. There's lots more to come, so I hope to have a little bit more time now that Halloween headache is over so that I can get all of the videos up for you guys. So thank you, Christina, my beautiful model. <laughs> thank you.